Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to electricity and magnetism. And so far we have discussed uh, basic concepts related to electric potential, potential difference. In the previous videos we discussed about equipotential surfaces, uh, their properties and some basic cases of or examples of equipotential surfaces. So in this video we are going to uh, relate or establish a relationship between two important parameters which we have discussed previously the electric field intensity and potential difference or electric potential and in the process of that we will discuss or uh, another important concept arising from it by correlating these two parameters which is the potential gradient okay we'll discuss that so before doing that let us just uh, refresh some concepts which we have already discussed is that we have already discussed that the potential difference between any two points in an electrostatic field is expressed as the negative line integral between the electric field vector and the displacement vector. We have already discussed while discussing the electric potential and potential difference uh, concept. So please watch that video. So here we'll take that discussion a little bit forward. Okay, let us say we have a source charge plus Q located at O. Okay, and here the potential difference between uh, points A and B, okay, the potential difference between A and B is basically the work done in moving a unit positive test charge, okay, a unit positive test charge, let's say, which is located at far away distance at infinity located at infinity from A to B okay that is the whole concept of electric potential the work done in moving a unit positive test charge from infinity to that particular point where we want so here let's say the unit positive test charge is first moved to point A. So because of that the electric potential is let us say Va and then it is moved to point B. The potential here is Vb. Okay. So Va is simply work done in moving the charge from infinity to A divided by the test charge value and Vb is work done in moving the charge from infinity to B divided by the test charge. Okay, so potential difference between B and A since VB is greater than VA is simply work done in moving the charge from A to B divided by Q0. So let us say A and B are separated by a very small distance dr. Here the displacement is from A to B. So the displacement vector is from right to left. But if you notice the electric field vector is from left to right. So the electric field vector and the displacement vector they are in opposite direction. Opposite direction. Okay. Now, we know that these two points A and B, they are very close to each other, okay, almost, uh, you know, very close. So, the electric field at B and A will be almost the same. Now, we know that the potential difference between two points is the negative line integral between the electric field vector and the displacement vector. So we can say that the potential difference between B and A, let's call it dV, 
okay let us call it dv. So, vb minus va is the negative line integral of e vector and dr vector where this is the dot product okay let us call it dv and this is if we evaluate the dot product it will be simply e vector modulus dr vector modulus cos 180 degree why 180 degree because e vector and delta r vector the displacement vector they are in opposite direction they are in opposite direction so we will get e the electric field is equal to minus dv by dr or we can also write it in this way e is equal to this delta v by delta r so this thing minus dv by dr or minus delta v by delta r this is called as the potential gradient this is called as the potential gradient which is which is the rate of change of potential okay the rate of change of potential with respect to distance okay so this is uh, generally expressed in terms of volt per meter this is the unit of potential gradient and this negative sign this also has an important significance so the negative sign indicates that the direction of electric field okay the direction of electric field is always in the direction of decreasing potential why let us see you know i told you that vb is at greater potential than va okay see the electric field direction is from left to right in this direction okay but va is lesser than vb so as we move from left to right we are moving in a direction of decreasing potential why because when we have to move a test charge positive test charge from infinity to any of the points on this electric field line work has to be done against the force of repulsion because of this positive charge and the closer it is the closer the point is to the source charge the greater will be the potential because more work will have to be done to overcome the force of repulsion okay so let's say if here the potential is vc vc will be more than vb here let's say it is vd then vd will be greater than vc let's say here it is ve then ve will be greater than vd here let's say it is vf then vf will be greater than ve okay but the electric field line direction is in this direction so it is in the direction of decreasing potential as we move from left to right we are moving to a low potential regions low potential points okay so that's why this negative sign in the potential gradient which correlates electric field intensity and the rate of change of potential with distance the negative sign indicates that the electric field direction is in the direction of decreasing potential okay it is in the direction of decreasing potential so this is why the concept of potential gradient is very important another important thing is that which we we have already discussed equipotential surface so we can also uh, correlate equipotential surface and uh, this potential gradient thing is that the electric the, there are two ways in which uh, we can represent the electric field strength in terms of electric field lines okay in terms of electric field lines like this or 
we can express it terms of equipotential surfaces the number of equipotential surfaces okay like this the condition is that the electric field vector is always perpendicular to the equipotential surface and all the equipotential surface they are at different potential values and the difference in the potential between two equipotential surfaces is always fixed okay always fixed so in that case okay in that case the crowding of the equipotential surface indicates that let's say e is equal to let's say minus dv by dr or displacement or the gap so here dr indicates the gap between the equipotential surfaces so dv is fixed so the more the gap it means the electric field strength is less the more the gap the less the electric field strength and the less the gap the more the electric field strength so this is how so the more the crowded more crowded the equipotential surfaces are then the stronger the electric field intensity okay so the equipotential surfaces they also tell us the direction of electric field because the electric field intensity the electric field vector is always perpendicular to the equipotential surface so wherever we get let's say we have identified an equipotential surfaces then we are certain that the electric field will be perpendicular to it the electric field line will be normal or perpendicular to that surface okay so this is the whole concept of uh, potential gradient and we have we had already discussed about equipotential surface so i just inserted this extra point okay about uh, how we can use the potential gradient concept and the equipotential surface concept to find out the strength of electric field okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day Thank you very much.